Adam had an existing package in place, um, a package called community participation, and there was no way that that package itself would have funded what we had in mind um, for Adam moving out of home. Um, so what we did was we firstly sat down and started to think through what an ideal framework could look like. And there were a number of elements that came into that. And from that vision, we then looked at hours in a day, days in a week, people, place, and what kind of support was, was required and how that could be meshed with um, a social living situation. And then at the, at the time that that was being explored, we heard about a particular fund that we could potentially apply for that could make that a reality. And that was when we started chatting with Matt. Mm. And uh, that process of putting dollars and cents to, to the vision was really what, what gave us the confidence to take it forward and we put the application in and we're very fortunate at the time to get that. And that set the framework up for what we're, for where we are now. Yeah. So I think one of the important lessons here for others is that the family began planning, began thinking about this long before the Supported Living Fund was ever on the horizon. Um, yeah. And once that did come along, you guys were able to say, like you said, it was a bit of a um, catalyst yeah. for you guys to to take some action. Um, so I think that's a really important point in terms of you know the NDIS being progressively rolled out. Um, if, if families can start planning now around you know, thinking about what sort of supports their son or daughter may need to live independently, to do all the things that they would like to do to lead a valued, meaningful life. If they, if they start thinking about that stuff now without any sort of thought around how much it costs, that when the means comes along in the form of the NDIS, or in this case, the SLF, um, when that comes along, then you're ready to grasp it and, and go. Um, so I think that's a really important lesson. Another point um, I think is really important is that the actual budget that we developed sort of came at the end, didn't it? We, you know, we did work out, you know, the pattern of support and all the rest of it that we've talked about, and then the, the process of actually developing a budget sort of came at the end, and so thought through, okay, yeah. this is the ideal, how are we going to use this bucket of money to make yeah. it happen? And where there were short shortfalls in that, again, we think, okay, well, what are some other ways we can meet that need? Um, exactly. To, to still make it happen, so without relying on a finite mm. bucket of money. Mm. Um, start with the vision, yes. like you're saying, start with the vision and then look for the dollars later Yes, and work out how it's going to work rather than having the dollars yeah. dictate. dictate the vision. Yeah. 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 